Hey, beautifuls, what's good? What's poppin'? Um, happy New Year, if I ain't already said it in some of my uh, previous videos for 2017. But as you can see, <sighs> I'm doing a ride-along. This is my first ride-along for 2017. And this was a special ride-along to me. Because as y'all saw in the title, <laughs> I got a new ride. Yes, I did. And at first, I wasn't going to do a video about it. But my sister, my 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 twin, Miss Petrina was like, you know, go ahead and do, do a video and, you know, talk about, you know, your experience. So, I'm here. Shout out to my boo, Petrina. I'm doing this. I meant to do this earlier, but hey, life, life is, I ain't gonna say life gets in the way, but life happens, okay? So I'm here doing this now. It's January 21st, and I actually got my car December the 26th because this was like a Christmas gift slash New Year's gift to moi, to myself, to self, okay? And um, so basically, I'm gonna come up here and give my beautiful some tips, you know, for me being a uh, semi-single woman because I did do this on my own. I didn't get no help from my daddy, my mama, no husband, no cousin, no friend. I did all this on my own. On my own. Yeah. Come on, Patty. But yeah, so <laughs> did it on my own. So I'm here again just to, like I said, to give you some tips and stuff. So first tip. Oh, and tell y'all about my experience at the car lot. So my first tip to my beautifuls is do your research. Do your research. What do you mean do your research? Research yourself for one. Know your status. Know your background. You're probably saying, what status, what background are you talking about, uh, Miss Jackie? I'm talking about your credit standing. Okay, know your income expense ratio. Check your credit. Know where you stand with your credit score. Because the better your score is, the better interest rate you will get. Okay? When you're um, going to finance a car. Alright? So, my advice to you is, you can, you can pull your three credit reports annually for free. You just go into Google. Make sure you put free annual in there. Don't do freecreditreport.com. That's a whole different uh website and you're going to end up paying coin okay you go to my free annual credit report and it's going to take you to the proper site you're going to go in there and do your due diligence whatever you need to do to prove that is you and you will have automatic access to all three credit reports now i will say this if you want to know your score you would have to pay a little fee to get your score from that site but I have a tip for you. Go to CreditWise. It's called CreditWise. You can sign up for free. And it will let you know your credit score. Not all three, but when you see one, they pretty much all borderline around the same level. Because I will say this. What you see on one credit report might not even be reported on another credit report. Okay? But it's called CreditWise. And it's your TransUnion credit score. Okay? From your TransUnion credit report. Alright? So, with all that being said, check your credit score. If you feel like you, you know you're not in that ballpark yet, credit score-wise, do, do your work, babies. Do your work and get yourself to that level. Because that's what I did. I'm going to say this. This was not a quick process. And I want to say about mid-2015. Oh, sorry about the camera, y'all. Mid-2015, I had already said, Jackie, get your life together and get your work on your credit. Work on your credit, okay? For me, being an accountant, that's very important, you know? I'm up there taking care of other people's money. I need to make sure my money's straight, too, right? My 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 finances and overall is straight. And I know it's things I wanted to accomplish and achieve I'm sorry y'all I should have like I said I know it's things I wanted to accomplish and achieve so that was one of my um, goals for myself all right to get that straight so by the end of 2016 or the beginning of 2017 I'm going to purchase me a new car okay so if y'all 
ignore my nails because they're busted the, the polish and smudge but if y'all set many goals for yourself major goals for yourself <laughs> things can happen y'all don't don't think that you can't get things done you can't all right i'm all over the place but i'm going to get to the the cootie glad the filling of the pie eventually all right so yeah so i did all that with my credit i knew where i needed to be y'all might say jackie what are things i could do to get my credit score um up to par it's, it's many things you can do you guys you can start building your credit okay by maybe getting one credit card and using it for whatever whether it be gas or whatever and just pay it off every month on time uh you know on time that builds up your credit as well um something simple and quick that shows that you're paying a bill on time month every month okay or whatever whatever creditors you have on your report that's delinquent that's showing negative activity on your credit report you can call them individually work out a settlement or work out a payment plan that suits your budget and go from there or if you have a whole lot and it's a lot of coin go to a debt consolidating company and it will help you consolidate this major debt okay and they'll work out the payment plan that's that's affordable and comparable for you all right so i'm going to get off of the the credit thing so basically know know your status do your due diligence with your credit and, and get it to a status where where if you want a great if you want a great uh apr when you're financing the car do that if you don't care Go with the score that you got and don't be surprised if you see a damn 24% APR. So I'm just trying to give you guys, you know, a heads up what to expect. All right. So next thing, after you do all that, kind of figure out what type of vehicle you want. Whether it be a four-door sedan, mid-size mid SUV, uh, a compact, a sports car, whatever. Figure out what you want. Start doing the research and narrow it down to maybe a top three or whatever. And once you get that down, you know, start doing the research on these vehicles. Like, um, go to the Kelly Blue Book, find out the Blue Book value on that particular car, make, model, year, with the mileage and, you know, it's in good, poor, fair condition, whatever. All right? Do all that. Once you do all that and you start kind of car shopping online and you see, you know, you think you see what you want, et cetera, et cetera go to the dealership okay go to the dealership know what know what you want know your status and go to that dealership and tell them what you want all right so pause on that thought i will say this the best time they say to buy a car is the last week of the year as you know i i bought mine december 26 you might say why they're trying to get rid of their inventory people the dealerships are trying to get rid of their inventory so pretty much you can probably twist and turn their back a little bit you know have them sway your way more with what you want you know when you go in there and tell them what you want and you'll pretty much get what you want because they don't want you to walk out without getting a car because they're trying to get rid of as much inventory by the end of the year okay so that's supposed to be the best time to buy a car all right so that's why one of my goals was to get it before the end of the year all right so now back to what i was saying we're ready to go to the dealership okay now let's go with my experience at this dealership so i went i went met with my uh salesperson i chose nissan i wanted to go to nissan i did not go to a mom and pops dealership all right i went to a reputable uh make you know maker dealership i just didn't go to joe's auto that sells all kinds of vehicles or whatever i if i wanted a ford i would have went to ford if i wanted uh mercedes i would have went to mercedes if i wanted a infinity i would have went to infinity but nissan and infinity are the, are the same thing anyway but i went to nissan so i went to nissan and when i got there the salesperson was like you know our, we did our greetings and all that stuff you know they're gonna try to schmooze you so they was like what can i do for you I told them what I wanted and I said 
I want a new vehicle that's no, that's no older than 2012. I don't want nothing beyond 2012. You know what I'm saying, Patty? Y'all know what I'm saying. I don't want no 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, whatever. So, as I said, I, I'm, I don't want a down payment. And I'm not trading in my current vehicle. And I want the payment that I'm comfortable with. Okay? Because I already did my income expense. I know my budget. I, I, I budgeted for everything. Because I budgeted for my increase in my car insurance and everything. So, make sure y'all do that too. Okay? So, he was like, okay, well, let's... uh." Uh, well, let's see what we can do for you. Of course, they put all your information, run your credit, blah, 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 blah. He comes back. Well, this is what we can do. Well, how much money can you pin down? I was like, excuse me? Yeah, um, we're, we're going to need a down payment. How much money you think you can pin down? The more you can pin down, the lower your, your car payment will be. Now, babies, let me tell y'all this. For every $1,000 you put down on your car... It only lowers your payment by $20. Remember that. $20. For every $1,000 you put down on your car, it only lowers your payment $20. Okay? So I looked at him. I was like, hmm. I'm sorry. I'm going to play this game with you for a little while. Let's dance a little bit. So I was like, hmm. I said, okay. I said, I said, I, I, said, I think I can put this much down. You know, I could put, I, I could do that. I could put this much down on the vehicle. Blah 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 blah. So he was like, all right. So he he uh he walked me over to this brand new Nissan uh Nissan Road, brand new, 2017, which I wasn't interested in. Cause I told I, I wasn't going for a brand brand new car. So you know, but the vehicle I'm in, I was interested in, which is a Nissan Road, it it didn't change once it got to. A uh, certain year, the body, everything is still the same. All right, so I was like, all right. So he said, well, what do you think? And I was like, well, I said, it's, I said, I like it. It's nice. I said, um, I said, yeah, it's very, very nice vehicle and everything. I said, I wasn't expecting a brand new car though. He was all, oh, he said, oh, yeah, I know. I just wanted you to sit in and see, you know, see how you felt about it, blah blah blah. So we go, we talking, and he was like, so what? I so what can I? What I got to do to uh, get you to uh, sign off on a, on a, a a ride today i was like well i said to be honest with you i said when i came in here i said no down payment no trading and i want the monthly payment i'm comfortable with okay and i said so far you're 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 not you're uh what was it i say he's oh for three because he was still he was trying to get me to trade my car in too all right but i knew my status i know i know where i stood credit uh credit score wise and all that stuff so i told him i said well i said the payment that you're telling me i said i'm not comfortable with i said well let me go home and rework my budget see if i can rework my budget for one and um and we'll go from there he didn't want me to leave you know you don't want nobody to leave when you want when you want that person to leave you want them to, to, to leave with their car okay so he was oh no no wait man let me see what i can do for you so he, then he comes back and he was like, this is what I could do for you. You know, so uh, only thing, you know, they weren't even worried about my car no more. He was still trying to get me to put a down payment on it. And the car payment was still wasn't where I wanted it to be. Okay. So, so I told him, I was like, I was like, eh. I said, yes. Yeah. So I said, nah. I said, let, let, I said, I'm not going to commit to anything that I'm not comfortable with today. I said, let me go home and see if I can uh, move some stuff around on my budget. I said, and and I said also, yeah, I said I already got other uh, dealerships that um, I can go check out as well uh, that I know that could probably you know give me what I want. So he was like, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Now this is the second time I was I was about to walk out. He's like, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, <sighs> so. The manager of the whole dealership, the owner, whatever, of the whole dealership, he comes to me, sits down with me. He was like, Miss Warren, he said, I know you came here for a car, and I know you don't want to leave here without it. I was like, I said, but I can, though. I said, I can leave here with, without a car and be okay with it, because I'm not going to do anything I'm not comfortable with. And um, he was like, well, what, what, what do I got to do? to get you a car today i said well when i came in i told the salesman no down payment not trading my car in and i want the payment that i want he was like okay 
I'm going to get that for you. All right. So I sat there and waited. <laughs> My salesperson came back. He was like, come on, let me show you this car. I said, mm. I said, you going to show me another car? He was like, yeah. I was like, he said, first of all, what color you want? I said, black. He was like, well, I ain't got it in black. I was like, dang. He said, but let me tell you about dark cars versus lighter cars. So he told me and everything. I was like, all right. So um, I'm just going to sit here and talk to you. I just pulled up at the crib. So uh, I was like, okay. And uh, I, I said, I'm, I said, I'm cool. With it. I, I said, I could settle for the white. He said, well, let's go test drive this. So we test drove the car and everything. Car rides beautifully, y'all. Beautiful. Y'all, did y'all hear it? Did y'all hear anything? Rides beautifully. And um, yeah, and she's pretty. And then, you know, the white is nice. The pearl white is nice. And um, the interior is like a, y'all see, it's like a tannish. I don't know. It's like, I'm going to go with tan or beige or whatever, right? So, and I was like, okay, so I liked how she rode and everything. Low, very low mileage for her, for her time. She's two, she's two years old, very low mileage. And, um, I was like, all right. So we get out the car and he was like, what do you think? I said, I think she's nice, but I'm walking around checking the exterior and everything. And, um, I was like, all right. I said, well, my only issue is, first of all, I asked him. Because uh, I was looking at the, what do you call it? Gosh, y'all, uh, inspections and all that stuff, whatever. Make sure all that was up to par and everything. I asked for the car, the Carfax report. And I was like, these tires, though. I said, the two rear tires is butt butter ball. I said, you really want me to buy a new car, drive it off the lot? And I did. I got probably end up going to get two brand new tires. I said, "What? What can you do about those tires?" He was like, "All right, well, come on in with me." So he he came back and he was like, "He said we can get you uh we can get you those two new tires." I was like, "All right, bet." And um, he said, "This is a Nissan certified car, so everything is straight from top to bottom. You know, from the rooter to the tooter, blah 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 blah, all that stuff and everything." He told me I got lifetime free oil changes lifetime free state inspections and he told me um the car came with a warranty but the regular warranty was expired the only thing that was covered was the engine and the transmission so i was like hmm i said like, okay so i kept that in the back of my mind all right so we go to sit down and everything he told me they can give me the tires and stuff and um so I was like, alright, we're gonna go ahead and go. Cause I told him I said we was about to knock a price knock price off this car. So while he was doing whatever, I I I I was making sure I checked my, my Kelly Blue book again to make sure the price of this car was right there in the lane with what Kelly Blue Book said. And ding ding ding, yes it was. So I was like, alright, bet. And um and uh, by, the, by the whole end of the process, I even got the price knocked down further on the car, okay? And I got bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty, all right? Bumper-to-bumper. -bumper. If y'all don't know what bumper-to-bumper -bumper is, it's more than just your damn engine and transmission because other stuff can go wrong with your car, AC, other major stuff that's, that's very pricey can go wrong with the car. So... I got the bumper to bumper. Now I don't have to worry about if something is majorly wrong with this car. How am I going to be able to afford my payment and get this car fixed? I ain't got to worry about that because everything is covered. Bumper to bumper. Keep that in mind, people. Bumper to bumper. All right. So at the end of the day, Jackie got her car. I didn't drive out the lot with it because they needed to get these tires and stuff straight with this car. So I ended up picking up my car uh, the next day. And, um... But let me tell you what they did. I, I didn't leave with her the next day, though. Let me tell you what happened. I get there, and he was like, I think they made a mistake with the tires. Because that's the first thing I looked at. They switched the... They took off the wrong set of tires. So, I, I had to come back the next day. But you know what I got? Four brand new tires. Because they already got rid of the ones they took off. So, I'm riding with four brand new pretty tires. And I have a lovely vehicle that what hadn't been broken in good the interior is immaculate the exterior is 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 gorgeous and i'm very happy and pleased as punch y'all okay so that is my experience with purchasing a new vehicle and i hope my tips in I hope my tips help my beautifuls out there because don't think you can't do this on your own. You can, all right? Just because we're, 
you know, we're women, single women, and you think you ain't got nothing to nobody to help you out, hopefully these tips and tips can and tricks can help you. Don't let these people sell you on something that you're not comfortable with doing. If you know this is not what you want, do not sign, do not do nothing. And I'm telling you, they're trying to get rid of, rid of as many cars as possible at the end of the year because they don't want that inventory, so they're pretty much going to give you what you want. All right? So, with all that being said, thanks for riding with me this long. And at the end of this video, I'll have a uh, little clip of what, what my little beauty looks like you know, from the outside, and y'all pretty much see the interior right here, and she does have the, uh, the camera, the backup camera, uh, she has a lot of stuff, y'all, I'm very, uh, happy and pleased with her, okay, so let's just spin her around slowly but surely, see right here, let me turn her, let me turn her on for you. And I'm going to put her in reverse so y'all can see the little backup camera. See that? Little, oh crap, little backup camera right here. Alright. And, um, yeah, let me come, let me bring it back to me because I'm doing too much. But yeah, <laughs> I might cut that part out, y'all, and, uh, redo it. But anyway, thanks for riding with me, beautifuls. And, um, I'm going to put, I'm going to insert a little clip at the end so y'all can see the tour of my, my new ride. So, until the next video, beautifuls, you guys, take care. Deuces. That's just me. That's just me. That's just me. Spinning up and then repeat That's just me, that's just me Oh